Hey, 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 welcome back. It's Movies in Minutes. Opposite me once again is Stephanie B. Hello there. Oh, hey, how are you going? Fine now, but earlier. Oh, love it, love it. I hey. always say that. How are yeah. you going? I haven't seen you for a while. I haven't looked at your beautiful face oh, in weeks. God. Is that creepy? I don't know. No, that's true. Yeah, Which, no. that it's creepy it's or I haven't seen creepy. <laughs> it's a bit of both. Anyway, folks, this is episode nine of Movies and Minutes. Today, what genre have we got, Steph? New releases. Yes. All right. Yes. I picked a new release that we're all waiting for. Yeah, what is it? Black Widow coming out May 2021. <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU Yes, okay Yes, Scarlett Johansson is back as the Black Widow awesome. Natasha Romanoffness Yes, yes A female kicking ass Well, she's kicking something, yeah, absolutely <laughs> I love Black Widow I've liked her in all the movies Yep, she was well casted actually Wasn't she? Yeah. For people who don't know who she is She's an Avenger She's a highly trained former KGB assassin thing Mmm Oh, and she worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. before they went tits up, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> she lovely. Did, right? They turned yes. out to be the other Hydra oh. thing. Oh, yes, 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 Yeah, of so course. she worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. Anyway, she's back in this standalone movie, which I'm going to say is probably a prequel, because um, even though you don't know, spoiler alert, Tony Stark is in it. Yeah. So they're going oh, yes, back yes. 20 years, all right? Yeah, so Iron awesome. Man will yes. appear, among other things. Yes. Apparently, it goes back to how she started. Now, a couple yes. of movies ago, they alluded to the fact that she had been trained in Russia as a ballet dancer and spy and all this sort of stuff. Yes. Yes. Well, now this is where we're going to find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, is that more like a backstory? Is this a, like yeah, a backstory? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah we've yeah, got yeah. to have the Black Widow origin thing. Yes, because she alluded to that a lot of times in the other movies. Yes, um, yes. Even with the Hulk and that she had this dark past and yeah. she's somehow what is turned it? good. You remember she said to Loki that she had a lot of blot marks in her ledger. Remember that? She wanted to rub them out. Oh. Anyway, since this movie doesn't come out until next year, we've all watched the trailer a yep. dozen times. Yep. Still doesn't tell us much. It's like a Star Wars trailer. Dude, we know it's oh, Star Wars. This, we know yes. it's Black Widow. You need to tell us more. Based on the trailer, I think it's one you've got to watch at the movies. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so since it hasn't come out yet, I should just tell you, we all know it's directed by Kate Shawlin, and they've spent about $150 million, not a huge amount, oh, I was gonna say, for a Marvel oh, movie. Mm, okay. But anyway, it's got some of the former cast from the other MCU movies appearing in this prequel type thing. It hasn't come out, but I'm going to give it mm. three stars out of five based on the six or seven times I watched the trailer. Well, yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, can only get better. I reckon it'll be more than well, that. What more can I say? Three starfish. Yeah, that's pretty good for a trailer. It's pretty even ground for a trailer. <laughs> Thank you very much, because I right. just love Scarlett yes. Johansson. Yeah, she She's a great actress, but she's beautiful, and she but she exudes that power and that sensuality as well. I'm glad you said that, because if I said that, that would have been totally creepy. Would it? Absolutely. This is Movies and Minutes, Episode 9. Sure is, baby. Okay, now it's your turn. I'd like to see what your new release is. Oh, yeah, cool. That's you, why you're here, right? Yeah, that's right. Thank you, you for reminding for a minute, me. I, didn't was. You? I was mesmerised by what you say, and all your knowledge is just brilliant. Oh, Gesundheit. Really? Wow. Hey. What is your new release? My movie? is Tenet. Oh, Christopher Nolan. Yes. Inception and what is it, Dark Knights movies and... Uh, All of those ones that just actually yep. head slam you. Yeah. And if I say head slamming, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Definitely does it in this one as well. <laughs> Understatement, right? Oh, God. If time travel. Time travel, okay. I just okay. call it time inversion. It is massive. It is huge. It is going to mess with your mind. You're going to come out of there thinking, what on earth did I just watch? Well, that's typical of a Christopher <laughs> Nolan movie, isn't it? Look, it's visually great. It is all about time travel. Yes. So the, the future comes back to the present time to stop the destruction of the world. And it's called inversion theory. Uh, what they, the hell? Time oh, travel? All right, it's Christopher Nolan. It's confusing. You already know it's confusing. You did that before yep. with your stuff. All right, who's in this one? Who's the star in Oh, thing. John David Washington. He plays the protagonist. He's the main guy. Who, who is also Denzel Washington's son in real life. I'll claim to fame. Yeah, My dad's got Academy Awards, so I'm going to have a crack. Yeah, God, he does a good job of it, though. Elizabeth Debicki, Dimple Kapadia, Kenneth Branagh. Kenneth Branagh. Michael Caine. He's been in a lot of Christopher Nolan movies. Um, Robert Pattinson, you know, from the Twilight movies. There's a vampire in the time travel, yeah. but he's not a vampire no, now, is he? No, he actually looks all right. I didn't fancy him too much in the Twilight movies, but yeah, he Once looks Once again, good. I've got that bit of sick just popped oh. up. 
up into the back of my throat when you said that. I was not a fan of that. Move on. Tell me about this thing. Christopher Nolan, what's he doing? Christopher Nolan, he's directing a massive, huge movie about time travel. And the the special effects in this are great. It's not CGI stuff. It's just real things. So sometimes you're watching things that are in real time. And at the same time, things are going backwards. So he's taken a bit of a George Lucas approach. Yeah, yeah it looks awesome. amazing. looks amazing. So time travel and artifacts and time stuff. Time travel, what the yeah, hell? yeah. There's a baddie who somehow is able to travel to the future and to the back to the present time, keep flipping between times, and he's trying to find pieces of this puzzle, which is an algorithm which will destroy the world. He's hell-bent on destroying the world. You know that old chestnut? That old chestnut. That Thank old you, chestnut. Christopher Nolan. Oh, so you're still head-slamming us again yes, in another movie. I know. Um, look, it's got some mixed reviews. It, whilst it's great visually, uh, the sound effects are awesome, but there's this seems to be this common theme with Christopher Nolan movies lately. The sound mixing is not very good. Like the sound overpowers the dialogue. So oh, right. the dialogue is in parts people just have trouble. So without subtitles, you're going, like, what yeah, the hell is going on, you Christopher do. Nolan? Yes, yes. Even the fans are going like, oh my god, what's going on here? Wow. What have oh, you done? Okay, so what do you think? How many starfish out of five do you think for this type of time travel head slamming <laughs> movie, Steph? <laughs> I'm going to give it three. Three out of five. Oh, middle ground yeah, for Christopher middle Nolan. Ground. Yeah, look, it's definitely the type of movie you got to watch a few times, like Inception. I had to watch it a few times. This one, yeah, I'll wait till it comes out on DVD to watch it again. This is Movies and Minutes. That's about it. We've run out of time. If you'd like Aww. to contact us, either get a turtle, yeah. get a carrier pigeon, yeah. or do something. Oh, send us an email. That'd be a really good yeah, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, info at jriiifm.com. I love it. And also on YouTube there, if you're watching us at the same time yes. as hearing us, click the like, subscribe, and ring yeah. those bell things. Let us know what you think of those movies as well. It's really cool. Put your comments in there. Absolutely. That's it for me. I been Stephanie B and I'm sure that has been JR3. Oh, that was a crap accent. Yeah. Anyway, bye for now. Bye. Movies and Minutes is proudly brought to you by RSVPD.com Online dating for dogs. Is your dog lonely and looking for love? And the perfect hookup is RSVPD.com Online dating for dogs. With hundreds of new profiles added daily, it's your dog's real chance of true love. <laughs> With our new special desex section and free canine cross compatibility test, rsvpd.com is like Tinder for dogs. <laughs> Time to get your paws into dating. rsvpd.com. Online dating for dogs. <laughs>